Tiffany Hahn. I am 10 years old. Hi, my name is Bryson and I'm 9 years old. Hello, my name is Lauren Jacobson. I'm 11 years old. Hi, my name is Kalani Lodriaza. I'm 11 years old. My name is Pernell and for this year's science fair, I decided to do it about airplanes. The amazing flights. My question is, between Hydro Flask, Thermal Flask, and Clean Canteen, which of the stainless steel water bottles will be able to keep the water inside colder for a 24 hour period? Which laundry detergent will remove visible stains more effectively? The different temperatures affect the strength of a magnet. Is the sunscreen product with the high protection the most effective in blocking the UV rays from the sunlight? Can the water cycle cause desalinization? Hypothesis. I predict that granulated activated carbon will filter water better than powdered activated carbon. Question. Does dark chocolate chips have a higher melting point than milk chocolate and white chocolate? I predict that the dinoflagellates I put in a normal day and night cycle will be more bioluminescent than the ones I switch into an opposite cycle. My hypothesis is that I think the different temperature would affect the strength of the magnet, and I think that a cold magnet would work better than a warm one. Experiment structure materials. Experiment material. This is me putting the sunscreen into a cup, and then taking it out with the syringe, and then spreading it on the glass. That's the UV detector. That's me testing it. And all those um, tin orbs are where we put our plants. Like how the control has holes at the top of the orb, while the side has an orb on the side of it, and the downward one has an orb at the bottom of it. The, these are my digital thermometers, and this is the ice cream when I first put it into the freezer. This is me testing out the ice cream, and this is the ice cream after. In the middle, there are the, the three different candies that I use, and then on the left and right side, there is me melting the candies. These are the bowls that I cut to hold the dinoflagellates. Okay, three of five. I noticed that four, five, and six did not glow as bright when they suddenly switched cycle. Here's videos of our podcast. Oh, that one looks nice. My results. Sample A, small clump of DNA. Sample B, no DNA. Sample C, dried up puddle. As you can see, this is my bar graph on the round nose airplane and the sharp tipped airplane's flying distance. The round nose airplane flew farther than the sharp tipped airplane. The blue line is the, zero, the ice cream with zero grams. The red line is the ice cream with 50 grams. And the yellow line is the ice cream with 100 grams. This is a picture of my clots a few days after I did the experiment. These are my visual results. As you can see, Hydro Flask and Thermo Flask were pretty close to each other, but then Clean Canteen is all the way up there, and it didn't perform as well. And this side plant is 90 degrees from the original, po original position. My conclusion is that the more sugar the ice cream has, the longer it takes to solidify around the sugar. Conclusion. My hypothesis was correct, that the dinoflagellates Pyrocytes fusiformis did not lessen glow very much after being suddenly changed to an opposite cycle. I conclude that the sunscreen with the SPM 50, the high SPM level tested, blocked the most UV rays from the sun. My findings also show that no matter what you substitute for nature, nature always knows better. An example of this could be scientists in, in Antarctica his equipment has to be specialized to deal with the temperatures there. My experiment shows that whenever you are making ice cream and you are in a rush, don't add too much sugar. But do add a bit. It did taste disgusting with no sugar. On a side note, you can buy two thermal flasks for half the price of a hydro flask. Just because something is more expensive does not mean it is better quality. This is absolutely fascinating. I had no idea you could even do this. Okay, so does the DNA uh, permeate up through the alcohol layer and then on top of the alcohol layer or is the DNA contained within uh, the boundary between the alcohol layer and the strawberry layer? It's on the top. It's on the top of what? The like the very, the, uh, the very top of the alcohol. So why did you make the discs the same weight? That's a good question. It's because um, if they weren't all the same weight, not just how it affects, but that'll make another variable and the only variable we want is 
the surface area. For the video, it, sh it showed like you had to kind of like twist it to get the color to show and then they would disappear. Is that how it worked? Well, they only emit light to scare off predators because they're uh. eating so many things. I just carefully flipped it and once the predator went away, they didn't have to light up anymore. Do you think if you use maybe brown sugar or one of those um, synthetic sweeteners, do you think that will affect your project? I think it's, if it's like granulated sugar, it's like crumbs or whatnot, it feels like kind of like not liquid, mm -hmm. it would affect it because um, from my um, research at the end, I, it I found out that it was because it was blocking molecules. Good job, Jacob. Hey, I was wondering if the weight of the bottle or the thickness of the bottle had any bearing on how well it insulated. Hydro flask and thermo flask were thicker. That was because they were double walled and they had a vacuum inside it. And so since because of the vacuum, there's no molecules for the heat to transfer between. And the clean canteen was only a single walled and you see that was the one that was the one uh, that was the one that performed the worst. We have another question from Justin. Why does it grow away from gravity? Um it's because we got it's something called geotropism and the stock in the leaves grow negative geotropism because it wants to go towards the light and the roots telling them that oh you have to I have to go down while well, you have to go up and then the roots are positive geotropism and they do that just to get more nutrients for their to benefit their survival. <laughs>